At ESCO, we are committed to achieving the highest possible degree of operator protection, energy efficiency, and laboratory safety in all the products we manufacture. Our laboratory fume hoods are tested in accordance with the American National Standard for Laboratory Fume Hood Containment and Safety. Every laboratory fume hood we manufacture meets or exceeds the requirements of the ANSI ASHRAE 110 standard. Detailed documentation is provided with the results of each test. In accordance with the standards requirements, we undertake flow visualization, phase velocity, and tracer gas containment tests. Flow visualization tests consist of two procedures, local smoke visualization and gross smoke visualization tests. In the local smoke visualization test, the fume hood is observed as it is typically used. Areas that are susceptible to air vortex or weaker exhausting, such as the corners, are closely observed during the procedure. A smoke gun is used to generate smoke along the perimeter of the fume hood face. All airflow patterns are observed and carefully noted. Next, a stream of smoke is discharged in a circle on the work surface of the fume hood. Depending on the observations taken during the test, the fume hood is given one of the following ratings. The gross smoke visualization test concentrates on airflow behavior in the fume hood on a macro level. A smoke bomb is placed in the middle of the cabinet work zone and ignited. The airflow pattern and flow direction are observed. And the fume hood's performance is rated. As with the local smoke visualization test, the fume hood is given one of four ratings depending on the outcome of the observations taken during the test. The face velocity test determines the level of face velocity at a number of sampling points across the front of the fume hood. The test is carried out with the sash open at 25, 50, and 100 percent. At each height, the open area is divided in an equal number of grids, each lower or equal by 300 by 300 millimeters. Measurements are taken in each grid. The sash height is then adjusted and the test is repeated. A thermal anemometer probe is carefully positioned with the tip in the center of each grid location. At each stage, the tip of the probe must be carefully positioned in the center of each grid to ensure an accurate reading is taken. After the probe is accurately placed, the sash is lowered to the necessary height. A data acquisition system connected to the probe records airflow velocity at 300 points and calculates the average face velocity at each measurement point. The average velocities for each sash position are then compared with the design specifications for the unit. The tracer gas containment test is the definitive test of a fume hood's capability to protect its user and the laboratory environment.
SF6 gas is released inside the work zone as a tracer gas. Leakage is measured to ascertain the effectiveness of the hood. The test consists of three parts, tracer gas leak, face hood surface scan, and sash movement effect. A gas ejector is placed in the fume hood, 150 millimeters behind the sash. Tracer gas is released at 30 pounds per square inch. A mannequin containing sensor equipment is placed in front of the hood three inches from the front of the sash window. Readings are taken with the sash open to 100%, 50%, and 25%. The test is repeated with the center of the mannequin and the gas ejector placed six inches from the left-hand side of the cabinet. As before, readings are taken with the sash open to different heights. The sequence is then repeated on the right side of the cabinet. Readings are taken for five minutes using a data acquisition system connected to the mannequin and are analyzed. The face hood surface scan test is conducted with a sash window open to 25%. A leak detector is used to test the periphery of the fume hood face as gas is released within the hood at a rate of four liters per minute. If the penetration of SF6 tracer gas exceeds 0.05 parts per million, the fume hood fails the test. The sash movement effect test ensures that no gases leak from the hood when the sash is raised or lowered during operation. A mannequin with sensing equipment is placed in the center of the hood with the sash height at 25%. In one smooth motion, the sash is fully opened while SF6 tracer gas is released within the work zone. Once face velocities reach the desired levels and two minutes have passed since the sash was opened, it is closed again. The sequence is repeated three times. If the levels of tracer gas outside of the fume hood exceed one part per million, the hood fails the test. All fume hoods are certified to ANSI ASHRAE 110, BS 7528, and EN 14175 standards. ESCO laboratory fume hoods are fully tested and certified by Invent UK. At ESCO, we've passed more performance tests in more languages for more certifications throughout more countries than any other biosafety cabinet manufacturer in the world.